Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK, right into your homes. Welcome, and if it's the first time you're checking out my channel, please like if you like it, subscribe if you want more of my videos, and share if you think that somebody else might be interested. And my existing subscribers, thank you as usual for your support and your loyalty and your comments. Um, today's video is triggered by a lady um, who sued the NHS in Berkshire for ageism, for age discrimination. Now, I was wondering, should there be a limit on age discrimination? <laughs> I can't imagine. The lady is 89 now. I think she was 88 or just nearly 88 when she sued the NHS for age discrimination. Now, this lady, um, she had, um, she was resuscitated at one point um, because she has heart problems. But for the last 10 years, she has not had one day off sick. And where I work, I mean, I'm surrounded by young people. And to be honest, the sickness turnover is really high. We have so much young people going off sick. So I think it's it really is quite an issue when because somebody reaches a certain age, they then feel as though they're going to become a liability. What about the young people who have time off and a, nearly a year off for pregnancy? What about the middle-aged people who have time off for knee, for knee transplants or hip, hip replacements or, you know, any kind of operation? Anyone can have an operation or be off work for a long period of time for any reason, regardless of age. So why should this lady, who's 89 now, she wanted to work until she was 90, why should she now be considered a liability, because that's apparently how they made her feel, now that, um, now that she's of a certain age? Anyway, of course the trust is saying it's not ageism, but I mean, if you make references to age, I mean, apparently one of, one of the colleagues said, you know, they were a bit worried they might come and find her dead on the floor. You know, how can you make comments like that? I have comments at work um, where people say, oh, when are you going to retire? Aren't you, aren't you due for retirement yet? People don't want those kind of reminders. You know what I mean? People don't want to hear that. And when you reach a certain age, you do not want to hear comments about your age. It's not necessary. You're not going to be talking to a young person and talking about their age. So why is it when a person reaches, a mature adult reaches a certain age, age becomes an issue? And it's because of the culture. The British culture, when we think about it, back in the day when I was a teenager, you couldn't get a job. The advert said 16 to 30. If you was over 30, you were considered old. So you can imagine that culture is still in the minds of a lot of people. And I remember seeing a program, I don't know if it was Watchdog or one of those, where anybody over, I think they were over 40, they threw their applications. These, this um, employment agency threw their applications in the bin. Because once they're past 40, they're considered old and I don't know why, because I think, you know, with age, you have so much experience, you're more likely to be more tolerant, you're more likely, well, that's probably a generalisation, so I shouldn't really say that. But I think with age, you are going to have more life experiences, and you are going to, and you are going to blend the old school with the new school, and you're never too old to learn. Apparently, this um, lady, her name was Mrs Jolly, she didn't upload um, the names of 14 cancer patients. They were non-emergency, though, um, that were due for operations. And she didn't upload them because she didn't how, know how to use the a new computer system. She claimed she wasn't trained on it. So if you're not trained on it, how are you going to use it? So she was using the old system. 
they then um, accused her of, on, they then dismissed her on grounds of capability and catastrophic misconduct. Can you imagine? Was it called catastrophic misconduct? Catastrophic failure. I mean, for Christ's sake. It's not as if anybody died. You know what I mean? And like I said, you know, these, pe these, these people were delayed by up to a year. But, you know, the, the, the um, organisation has to take responsibility. If you're not training people, how, we, how are they supposed to know how it works? But what they were saying, instead of training her, they were saying she was used to her old secretarial ways. Which, again, is age-related. So, she went to the tribunal sued them and she's got a payout i think it's just it was published on the 21st which was yesterday so it's been it's taken nearly two years but she's finally got a payout they didn't tell us how much she's got but hopefully i mean she looks pretty fit apparently they say she um walks around with a stick and she does have heart problems but it hasn't affected her work um she used to work for a breast surgeon he calls her meticulous he said she was reliable and they re he reckons the organization bullied her so don't underest underestimate us old folks you know what i mean don't underestimate us because they put it in that you don't have to retire. I would have thought they would have extended the retirement age. Maybe, you know, the, the, t the time you can work, maybe up to 80. <laughs> but now you can work forever, as long as you're fit, as long as you can do the work, as long as you're not making any mistakes. You know, so for them... And the thing is, they're not going to say it's because of age. But I think it's in the culture. I don't think people are aware that they're being ageists. But even, you know, like I said at my workplace, constantly saying, oh, you don't look your age. I had to tell my friend how old you were, blah, blah, blah. And you kind of think, get a grip. Haven't you got anything else to occupy your mind? You know what I mean? You're so preoccupied. And, you know, it's meant to be a compliment. And But, you know, it just makes you realise how much people are preoccupied with age and how age is really significant. And, I mean, it's really, really good that um, you can work for as long as you feel able to. I mean, you don't want to be going to work and then you're off sick. But there again, I said, there's a lot of young people that have different operations. And like I said, you know, you get people who are pregnant. They're off, they're off the system for about a year. The organization is paying them, you know, at least for six months out of that year. So when you have a lady like Mrs. Jolly, who's been in the system and, you know, she hasn't been sick for 10 years, you know, you've got no excuse whatsoever. If it was a question of her not concentrating, if it was a question of her being off sick, and then, you know, they have this thing that, you know, they, they kind of do forced redundancy, where if you're too sick, um, they kind of make you redundant early. But it wasn't about that. Also, if they didn't think she was fit enough for that role, it was up to them to put her in a role they felt she was good enough to do. And she was capable of doing but apparently they, they, they um, walked her out of the building. She said she felt like a bloody criminal. And a lot of our organisations do that because they think you're going to sabotage um, whatever it is you know. Or they don't want to give you a chance to do anything with the systems or stuff. So a lot of them walk you out. But it's very humiliating. So anyway, I just would like your thoughts. How old do you think somebody should be before... Um, they retire, number one. Do you think they should have a retirement age, number two? And when do you think somebody is too old to sue for ageism? That's an ageist statement in itself. But I'm sure a lot of people must be thinking, bloody hell, when I was telling somebody at work, they're like, hey, you know, they were like so shocked as if to say, you know, she shouldn't even be walking. But it's the same thing because the same mindset 
that she was saying the her colleagues have about coming in and seeing her dead on the floor one day. How do they know that one of the young people are not going to be coming in and be seen dead on the floor? You know what I mean? So, you know, it's inherent in them. It's, it's just, I don't think they can help it. But every single day, I mean, just, just use this as an example. You know, for the next few days, if you're at work at college, just see how many people make comments about age. And especially about the older ones. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.